Hey guys, and welcome to Apple Auto. Today we're gonna to be taking a peek at a brand new Chevy Bolt EUV. Now, if you guys are interested in looking for a Bolt for sale, this is currently available at Apple Chevrolet Northfield. There's a link down in the description below straight to this Bolt. So if you guys are interested, be sure to check that out. Let's do a full detailed tour of the Chevy Bolt and see what it's all about. All right, up front of the Chevy Bolt, we don't have any actual functioning vents on the front of it because it is an electric vehicle. However, down here, we do have these vents that go into some other vents that are behind it that do look like they power open and close um, depending on if the vehicle needs some airflow or cooling or not. Up front here we do have these really cool looking daytime running lights and check out these turn signals. I'm a really big fan of the sequential design on them and then our headlights are down here just below if you guys want to take a peek at what the headlights look like here. I am a big fan of the front of the Chevy Bolt. I think it looks pretty good. And overall, it does a very good job of having a very low drag coefficient, and it looks good doing it. Let's move on to the side of the Chevy Bolt and see what it's all about. Something else that's kind of cool on the side of the Chevy Bolt, we do have a little view behind that back wheel. That little area just under the headlight actually allows a little bit of air to come through, whether that's for brake cooling, whether it's for a little bit of front and down force. I'm not really sure, but it does allow some airflow to come through. So there is a functional vent on the front of the Chevy Bolt. Kind of interesting, kind of cool. On the side of the Chevy Bolt here, uh, we have just kind of, uh, it's kind of interesting because it doesn't look very big at all, yet you move your way into the Bolt and it feels like it's massive. Like the amount of interior space in the Chevy Bolt is tremendous. I'll show you guys that here in a few minutes, but it's very impressive. Uh, it is a little bit interesting looking at the side of the Bolt. The wheels do look a bit small. These are 17s, however, so they're not super small, uh, but they do look good. They have a fun design on the inside of the wheels there with a little bit of a texture to it. Um, and I do like the way that those wheels look. It's a nice looking, nice looking design on the side of those. We do have the taillight that kind of wraps around this corner here, and then this fun design going in to the C pillar. Looking at the back of the bolt here, it is pretty good looking, nice looking little SUV here. We do have a rear wiper and rear window defrost, which is very convenient here in the cold months and rainy days. Then we just have a very large flat area because of course it's electric, don't have any vents or anything like that. We do have our reverse sensors back here as well as a backup camera. On the side of the bolt, one thing I did forget to mention is we do also have blind spot assist. Now this is the part that I'm kind of excited about, opening up and getting inside of the bolt. The bolt does not have a power lift gate, so that is manual. Uh, hardness to close, I wouldn't, I would say it's slightly easy. We do have a handle down here. Uh, you do have to be somewhat tall to reach it. It is up there a little ways, uh, but it's not terrible. It's pretty easy, pretty easy to do. Uh, back here for trunk space, there's not a ton. Uh, we do have this little sunshade that you can easily remove just by these two little strings here. Uh, there's not a ton of storage back here, but there's enough to get your groceries, um, to throw a suitcase, maybe, maybe two if you take this off and angle it right. Um, but there's not a ton of space. If we do lift this up right back here, we do have uh, some deeper storage, which is nice. You could honestly probably fit another suitcase down there. Uh, that is pretty deep in there and you could fit pretty much whatever you need. So quite a practical vehicle. Of course, we do have that extra space down there because there is no drive train in our way. Moving our way inside of the Chevy Bolt, we're gonna start in back here. Sorry, I got my camera stuff sitting on the seat. But if that is not enough room for you, you can simply pull this lever here and the entire second row folds down to give you quite a large trunk space, making it a very practical little daily electric vehicle. Now, something that is really cool about the Bolt is this blue interior. I really, really like it. I've always absolutely loved blue interiors. I think they're really unique. I think they're really cool. Uh, I kind of wish that more vehicles did them, to be honest. Now, sitting back here is, uh, it's pretty comfortable. I do, I, I could easily do a road trip back here. My headroom is a bit limited. I probably got only a half inch or an inch above my head or so. Uh, so any taller, if I lean back, I am hitting the roof. I'm five foot 11. Um, so if you're any taller than that, this probably isn't gonna be a very comfortable commute for you. Um, overall uh, leg room, I do have plenty and I was comfortable up front there. Uh, we do have a, a little bit of space between the bottom of our legs here, uh, meaning that we, we, we just, it's typical in most SUVs, to be honest. We don't have uh, that extra support, but it's not bad at all. To stay charged up, we do have a USB type C and a USB for rear passengers back here. Uh, but overall, it's comfortable, great commuter, um, and it, it works just fine. Let's hop up front and see what that's all about. 
Moving up front of the Chevy Bolt, this is what I was super surprised about stepping inside of here uh, and getting behind the wheel is how roomy it is. There is so much room, endless amounts of room, uh, arm space, like overall how it feels looking over the dash, um, sitting next to the passenger. It feels like there's a ton of room in here. It was way roomier than I would have guessed. We also have this really nice flat bottom steering wheel, which is pretty comfortable in the hand and something that I actually found to be super fun uh, that I haven't seen on any other electric cars is this regen button on the back of the steering wheel here. At first you get in here and there's like, why is there a paddle shifter on the back of my electric car steering wheel? But you actually press that and uh, it, it basically puts the battery straight into regen mode. Um, on most electric cars, you just let off the gas and it does that, but you actually hold this button here. And it's kind of fun like playing the game of like, how fast can I slow down if I press this? Or can I not use the brake and only press this button? But you use this button and it regens the battery. So the battery gets charged from the vehicle slowing down opposed to using the brakes on the car. But it's kind of fun that you can control it entirely from this uh, little paddle here opposed to it just driving like an electric car like standard like it still rolls um, when your foot's not on the gas uh, it'll still um, it, it won't like slow down really fast unless you're playing around with that region button, which is kind of fun and kind of interesting. Haven't seen that on another electric car before. If there's another setting that I haven't been able to find, please comment down below. But based on everything I've looked through, I can't find anywhere to turn on like auto hold uh, when you just let it off uh, the gas and uh, the vehicle doesn't move because in an electric car, typically that's what happens because there isn't obviously any combustion uh, happening to allow it to move. Um, overall, otherwise on the interior, I really like it here. There's a great spot for a wireless charger right down below here. Um, and it's just really roomy. This display is awesome, super slick. Love the way that it operates with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It's huge, it's easy to see, easy to read. Um, and the visibility all around is overall really good. I like the quality of the seats, again, with that sweet blue interior. The Chevy Bolt has kind of surprised me. It's a really great commuter car. It gets you where you need to go. It has quite a bit of range uh, for the class and price point that it's at. It's a really great vehicle. And now that all the recall stuff's done, we're going to start seeing more of these on the road. I'm really excited for it. I think these are really great uh, entry into an electric car, especially if you live in the city. Uh, these things are just great. I really like them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this super brief walk around on the Chevy Bolt. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you guys are interested in purchasing this Bolt, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. The highlights that I find to be the most attractive about the Chevy Bolt, in my opinion, are that blue interior. I'm a huge fan of that. The a uh, very large amount of space and it's just kind of a fun driving experience playing around with that paddle is something kind of new that i haven't had in any other car before so it's just kind of a different experience being able to do that once again thank you guys so much for tuning in look forward to seeing you next time